get it when it's when you fall under the guidelines. Well, tonight a warning from health leaders as many now as many know people are manipulating the vaccination system, claiming to have medical conditions when they do not all in an effort to get a COVID-19 shot sooner. Well, tonight our investigates unit looked into how easy it is to make up an appointment and why WDSU's Travers Mackle live at a mass vaccination center with reaction Travers. Hey there, Gina to get in here and get a shot. It's really the honor system. All you have to do is either go online or make a phone call and people can claim that they have a certain medical condition even if they don't. So tonight, medical leaders have this warning. At the convention center mass vaccination site, Brian Teasley is getting his shot. Oh, simple, super easy. Brian is a smoker, so he now qualifies under the expanded state guidelines. Vaccinations are now open to hundreds of thousands of people in this state. If you have certain health conditions, obesity, cancer, COPD, and yes, smoking, just to name a few, all qualify. But this is the honor system, right? So, you know, people have to attest that they are, you know, eligible for the vaccine. We ask that when people schedule. And both health and elected leaders know the honor system is being manipulated. I've heard from people that, you know, there's no check on it. So if you say you have asthma or you're a smoker, there's no way that you have to prove that. State Representative Matthew Willard sits on the legislature's insurance committee. He says people should be truthful. I think there is a risk, a, a potential risk that if you lie and say you're a smoker or you have diabetes or you have asthma, that that will follow you with your medical history. In essence, if you're not a smoker, don't claim that you are one. If you don't have hypertension, don't say you do just to get a shot. Take a look at this. This is the My Oshner portal. It allows you to decide your medical ailment or job qualification that makes you eligible and you can book an appointment without any problem. Again, the honor system. The state mandates an attestation form saying, yes, I am really a smoker. Um, and those forms just have to be kept. If the state audits, comes and audit your vaccine sites and they call up Travers Mackle and they say, are you really a smoker? You know, and you're not, you know, practically what will happen to you, I'm not sure. But what Dr. Jennifer Avegno is certain of, you're taking a shot away from someone who may really need it right now. So her request, just be patient. This is a huge step because really the next step after this is everybody gets it. And many say abide by a saying we all learned as little kids. Do not lie. Just be honest. Get it when it's when you fall under the guidelines. So the city says it expects a lot more vaccines by the end of the month. For example, this site at the convention center, it's open three days a week. They gave 1000 shots out today. By the end of the month, it's scheduled to be open seven days a week. For now, we're live at the convention center. I'm Travers Mackle, WDSU News.